taxidermy is increasingly fashionable and now it's gone to Hollywood. This month sees the DVD release of Dinner for Schmucks, which has for the first time ever a taxidermist for a hero. I'm here in this amazing Aladdin's Cave in South London to learn about taxidermy from professional taxidermist Sean Douglas. We're going to stuff a squirrel. So Sean, you've, you've helped me get the legs out here, very yeah. kindly, yeah. and do I just then peel keep on, back? Keep on pulling the skin, grab hold of the, the two back legs and the skin will just peel. And you can just... Like a sausage, just peeling away, that's it. And you can keep on going. It is like he's in a sleeping bag, poor little thing. So this is Cyril the squirrel, and he's been shot by the gamekeeper very cleanly through the jaw here. Grab hold of him really firmly. Yeah. And honestly, yeah. turn it'll go completely inside. Oh, really? Out. You can just yeah. You can see the whiteness of it turning. Yeah. I can and just yeah. Ah. Can I actually pull his head out this way? No. It will do, but we've got to disconnect the legs oh, now. Right, okay. And just cut straight through the bone. Ordinary pair of scissors. Yeah. Cut just straight cut through. through. Wait for the crunch. Good crunch. That's it. Oh, just like that. Just like that. So, Sean, this is the really delicate bit here. We've got the squirrel's head and the squirrel's eye, and I've now got a cut around the squirrel's eye. To pull it with one, really just gently. Just in there. Let me pull this for you, without you cutting oh. my fingers off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and can I go there? Yeah. And there's, that's the eye. Nice. That's the hole from that's the other the hole, side. And that's where you're going to stick the false eye yep. when you come to stuffing it. But ironically, the eye is the most important thing in any animal because that's the only place you you look when you're looking at a stuffed animal. But they also look at you. The eyes follow you around the room. And this is scraping all the excess meat off the skin. The sinews in the skin, you the can sinews. see this. It, yeah. the, the, what we, we'd regard this as what we call rubbish. It's got to got rid of. Yeah. Mm. But here we've got nice, just it looks that's blue. bluey, bluey yeah. looking. And that's just the leather. That's just perfect. So now we've got to clean up the skin in warm soapy water. Yep, that's all it is, bold automatic. It's starting to look quite nice now. We've got yep. to make a body the same and size as the one we've taken You've helpfully already scrunched it. This is it's wood wool. Wood wool. From wool. From it's a packing case material. Right, and then with this nice strong... Nylon twine. Nylon twine. Just you just keep it binding round it round and, round. Round. and we've got the sort of approximate shape of the torso of the squirrel here. Yep. So we'll just make a little hole. Like that. So Sean, we're making legs here. Yep, we've made his body and we've got galvanised wire. You can use any material again. This is a, uh, a cotton wool and it's just spun round. Sean, so I'll kind of let you do the skilled work here, which includes putting eyebrows on and a little Yeah, nose. a little bit more clay. We've got to push it all back together now and it's literally like stuffing a, yeah, a push sausage. It like that. Push it through. Look at that. And just keep pulling it down. Yep, keep on pulling it down. We'll get about halfway and we'll connect his legs up. That is amazing. Suddenly he's come to life again. Yeah, he will do. We'll do once we've dried him. Just put him down and on the ground. It. I think I can do this. Do so you... Turn him on. We won't only want medium. I was going to say, does surely full power? No, it cook it. <laughs> and just blow it all over the skin. Yeah. You get higher, I feel like I'm giving him a massage. Pop the legs, I'll bend that tail out of the way. Slide that. So now he's got he's got his tree stump to sit on. And now we'll start bending him in, Ooh, into position. That's now. awesome. He's looking a bit lopsided at the moment. Oh, we'll just keep on going. Until we You're get, really scrunching him. Until we get a nice position. We've got the eye socket completely empty with the bit of clay that we had behind. And all you've got yeah. to do, point end, straight in, yeah. and push nice and hard into the polyurethane foam. It'll go a lot further, I think. Let's have a look. <laughs> he's, he's got a he, funny expression there. He looks a bit angry like that. He does, yeah. And we could have him holding something. We could have him holding a little nut. And the same with would that. Be a, would that be a taxidermal cliche? Uh, no, not really. Not from me. I don't mind. Yeah. No, no. You've you've had a you've been hampered today by having a slightly rubbish apprentice. But oh. what's your what's your verdict on the finished? 
Oh, he's fine. Item yeah. here. For the for the market that he'd be sold into, he'd be he's good enough. And a hundred pounds for something like this? Yeah, it's just a little about, bit more. Just under a hundred pounds. So this is my morning's work. It's now lunchtime. I have to say, I don't feel particularly hungry. However, the whole process wasn't really as gory as I thought it might be. And it feels like we've brought a bit of dignity back to this little fellow now. We've almost brought him back to life.